There's a song called It Ain't Easy Being Green. You look at this chicken, you say, why is it green? Well, it's green because it's going to be super, super tasty in a little while. Now, we don't let anything go to waste around here. We, we try not to. This is green because it's in pickle juice. That's right. We eat a lot of pickles. And I'm going to put these upside down first. I have brined these in dill pickle juice. Now, that's not going to win any photography contest for the most beautiful chicken when it's green. But wait till it comes out. It's not going to be green when it's done. It's delish. All right. I did this for you the other day. I haven't done this for years. What were your thoughts, honestly? It's my favorite way to have chicken. Isn't no, it? It something? really is. Yes. So what I'm going to do, oh, you smell that? I do smell it. Now, this has been soaking six or eight hours. You know the best thing about this batch? What's the best it's thing? still pickly. So we can, can use, use it, it again. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put these upside down at first. So what I've done, I've just taken regular dill pickle juice after the we juice. finish a jar. Mm -hmm. And we brine our chicken in it. If you want a deep, wonderful flavor that's got just a little bit of bite, it's already got your sodium oh, in yeah. it. It's got a wonderful taste. Even if you don't like dill pickles, I'll bet you would like this. So we're gonna we pour that. take that, Use pour it, it on in. here for the second batch, because Kelly looks hungry. She does look hungry. And we're gonna take just a little bit of pickle spices and put in there as well. And we're gonna let that set six to eight hours or so. So we're gonna do the bottom first. Not tell a cherry pepper, which I absolutely love. Now, they may be green now, but they're not going to be green later. No, oh, it's delicious. The crust is amazing. It really is good. It crusts right up and turns beautiful golden brown. Now, we're going to smoke these. We're going to put them in a 350 degree smoker for exactly one hour. Yeah. Take these and put them on the grill for a half hour, turn them over, mm -hmm. come back in another half hour, and guess what? You got something special. So now, we're going to take the pretty skin side. These are thighs. Favorite. Why thighs? It's the best. It's the best. It's the best. To us. Yes. We really, really like the thighs. They're juicy, uh, the more flavor. You gotta have the skin on, because this is just a beautiful recipe once it comes out. This is the pretty side. We already spiced up the ugly side. So we're gonna come back with, again, tell cherry pepper. And this has already got some great taste in it, so you really don't have to do too much. Then we're gonna come back with a little bit of salt. I use kosher salt, most generally, and then just a little bit of smoked paprika, and that's it. You really don't need anything oh, yeah, else, do you? It's perfect. Can I ask a favor? Sure. I have a sweet potato. I heat it up a little. Will you put that on the smoker? Well, absolutely. We did that the other day with it's our delicious. with our meal. That we can split that. Yep. That'll just be to smoke it. We've got one more thing we're going to fix, along with the star of the show, which is a really, really old recipe that we're going to do with these pears. That's right. You know, a lot of the recipes that we're going to do with these pears comes later in the year. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't tell them it's top secret. I won't. I'm not saying All right, so how about we put these on the grill? Alrighty. Aren't they beautiful? They are beautiful. I'm excited to eat Let's these. Let's go to the grill. Listen to this. Yum. It's like a potato chip. Look at that. Oh, that's the best part now that, of the skin. Look. Huh. Look how, like, now look how tender that chicken is. And remember, this is smoked. Can I try? It's not green anymore. Oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> you really pick up that pickle juice. It makes it nice and salty. Oh. Wonderful. Oh. Look at that meat. Mm. Oh. Delish. So good. Because you got your garlic in there already, everything from that brine. I love the skin. Can I see all the skin off the chicken? Mm, do whatever you want. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's the best skin ever. Mm. Mm. And you smoke the sweet potato. Sweet potato on the side. I wonder if that's good. No, it doesn't really impart a whole lot of smoke flavor. It's still delicious. On the sweet potato, but it's, oh, it's still good. delicious. Now, smokers, it cracks me up. Out there in the world of people using different kinds of smokers. Well, you're not a real man if you don't use this kind of smoker. And if you don't use this smoker and you don't use this smoker. 
Here's the thing about smokers. What do you need to smoke food? Temperature and smoke. Yeah. However you get that, that's what you need. This needs to go legitimate 350 degrees for an hour. Turn it over during that half hour. It's perfect every time. Oh, it is always perfect. Every time. Dig in, wow. Mr. Farmer.